I think we need to talk more about how regulation is done and not just how much regulation there is because uh, we now have a system in which I think there's some serious regulatory pathologies, which mm -hmm. is a combination of congressional passage of vast, perplexing, vague statutes where the people, neither the people nor their representatives really even know what's in them, and then combining that with a standardless discretion for uh, regulators. And the worst kind of uh, discretion is that which they exercise on a case-by-case -case basis. It's one thing for regulators to exercise discretion to pass actual predictable rules uh, for conduct that apply across the board. But increasingly today, what uh, businesses and regulated parties have to do is to go hat in hand for permission. I call it mother may I uh, regulation uh, with uh, very few standards. Uh, or uh, government by waiver, where uh, you have rigid rules that uh, very few people can comply with, compl uh, combined with uh, grants of waivers to politically selected uh, uh, parties who are not required to, to comply with the rules. And we don't know why some people get the waivers and why others do not, and it leads to a real erosion of the rule of law. And the basic problems with this are three. One, it declines democratic accountability because none of us really are able to uh, affect the process democratically. Second, that it's an invitation to corruption and to inequality because the best placed people with uh, political uh, clout and, uh, uh, and uh, connections in, in Washington are the ones who benefit from a system like that. And then finally, it's a real hit to the economy. The, the uncertainty that this kind of regulation creates is one of the main reasons why our economy is sputtering and no longer uh, uh, succeeding. If we wanted to do one single thing to get the economy going again, it would be to cut down on this kind of regulatory uncertainty so that businesses would know what the rules are and are able to plan and invest and hire.